it's Neef over in America and that's one of the world's biggest astronomy shows and ZWO have announced a new camera or a new family of cameras which is oops I dropped my light which is interesting this photo here I got from my Facebook feed and I follow ZWO along with millions of companies. Now this photo is interesting because it shows a camera, a ZWO typical red camera, and it shows a reflection of the camera or what looks to be a reflection of the camera. Now, um, I don't know if this has got a slight reference to Harry Potter because do you remember in the Harry Potter films there's a mirror that you look in and it shows you what you desire so it could be that the camera is looking into a mirror and it is showing the camera what it desires so it might not necessarily be a reflection now this is just me making this up I could be completely and utterly wrong I very often am but if we look at this camera here, it does have that little metal knob there, I guess. I'm thinking that that might be for um, a filter. So that could be for a filter draw. But it's shown at the top there. So if this was a reflection, it would be down here. But it's shown at the top. So it might. that's why I think it might be this Harry Potter showing you what do you desire. Uh, so it might be that this camera has a built-in filter draw. It might not. Who knows? Because also at the top there, that could be where the um, the descant uh, capsules go for removing moisture. Again, I don't know. Um, it's just just sort of randomly guessing. But the obvious thing here, the really obvious thing here, is the fact that we've got two camera sensors which is showing me that the long-standing question of can you guide from your imaging camera is trying to be answered here. And therefore they've put two cameras and I am assuming that the big one is for imaging and the smaller one is your guide camera. But a lot of people put comments uh, from this image saying, well, hang on, if you had a filter before this uh, set of camera sensors, then that filter would affect the guide camera as well. So if you think about narrowband imaging, then if you had a really, really tight um, narrowband mono uh, filter, it would stop a lot of the light from the stars getting through as well. So your guiding would be affected. Now, if they've put a filter draw in the back, then the filter will be after that. So I don't know if it is a filter draw. I'm kind of guessing complete. Well, I am absolutely guessing. Um, but also other things I've noticed, it has a tilt plate. This is a tilt plate adjuster because it's got um, two screws or two Allen key or hex key um, bolts there. And obviously one of those might be for locking or a push-pull style arrangement for tilt. Now the only camera I've had from ZWO that I've experienced that had a tilt plate adjuster was uh, the 2600 MC Pro. So very interesting image. It's not a mirror image. It could be showing you what you desire. I'm really hoping this is going to be a new family of cameras because I... Um, I think it's an understatement to say that I've struggled with cameras. I really struggle with cameras and it drives me bonkers. Um, so I'm hoping it's showing us what we desire, which would be a camera that can do guiding as well, potentially a filter draw. It's got the tilt adjustments as well, but I'm hoping that this is basically a sign of some new ideas coming in and potentially uh, using different um, sort of different methodology to how we use our astronomy cameras. Um, but I'm really intrigued by the two sensor design. Some people have said it could be the IMX 571 sensor and then a smaller chip like the 533 
in there, but it looks a bit small for a 533. I know it's a small sensor, but it looks very small. Very exciting, and I think on the 14th, ZWO will be telling us all about, I'm hoping, a new family of cameras. Uh, the other thing which ZWO have announced is a smaller version of the AM5 mount. Now, this is interesting because this is one of the harmonic drive mounts, the AM5, which has proved to be very popular. And now they're releasing a smaller version. And I am assuming that it will be cheaper because it's smaller with a smaller payload capacity. Um, I could be completely wrong. It might be the same price. And it might have a really high payload capacity because harmonic drive mounts do have a very high um, payload capacity. Very interesting developments, and I think ZWO have been announcing all of their uh, new product ideas through their Facebook page, or at least tempting us all by some of these photos which they've been putting up on their Facebook page. <laughs> 